Good morning. Welcome to Grace Notes. My name is Marilyn Stairs, and I'm a member of Grace United Church. In these extraordinary times, as Canada and the world faces the unprecedented challenge of the COVID pandemic, our first task is to support and enable the efforts of frontline workers who are working to fight this disease in people who have already been infected, cure the disease, and find an immunization to protect others from obtaining the disease. In difficult times, we as Christians turn to guidance for God. What better place to turn than the Psalms? The prayer book of the Bible, as it's sometimes called. This book sustains our daily worship more than ever since public worship is no longer an option. We continue to look for ways to give us and others support and warmly encourage you to share in the spiritual communion that prayer makes possible across all the boundaries of time and space. At the heart of this work of prayer, the Psalms voice the cry of our hearts to God. With this in mind, Grace United Church is sharing one psalm each week with an accompanying reflection. This week's psalm is Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. The psalmist contemplates the physical world around him, the sky, the stars, animals, the birds, and this inspires him to praise God. With so much illness in the world today, we are saddened, scared, and uncertain of our future. We wonder what life will be like for us at the end of this pandemic journey. Let's take time from our day to go outside and look at the world around us. We can think about the Psalm 8 verses. In verse 1, it confirms that only God has true glory, and He has it because He is good, and it shines brighter than the sun from inside of Him. Verse 2 reflects that even babes and infants praise God, and that there must be something intrinsic in our humanity that recognizes that the Creator is worthy of praise. In one of Isaac Watts' great hymns, he nods at this innate capacity for praise in this verse. People in realms of every tongue dwell on his love with sweetest song, and infant voices shall proclaim their early blessings on his name. The night sky is so big, and we are so small. Can God really see and care for us? Yes, He does, and He remembers us and visits us. This happens when Jesus came to earth. Why did He come? 
verses 5 to 8 reveal this answer. This is the purpose of God for men and women. The New Testament of the Bible repeats Psalm 8, verse 5. It translates that God is an angel and that humans were made a little lower than an angel and we were made for the purpose of looking after God's creation. But man was not doing what he was made to do. Only Jesus was doing it. One day Christians will be with Jesus and then they will rule everything much better than we are presently doing. Let us pray. Loving God, your desire is for our wholeness and well-being. We hold in tenderness and prayer the collective suffering of our world at this time. We grieve precious lives lost and vulnerable lives threatened. We ache for ourselves and our neighbors standing before an uncertain future. We pray, may love, not fear, go viral. Inspire our leaders to discern and choose wisely, aligned with the common good. Help us to practice social distancing and reveal to us new and creative ways to come together in spirit and in solidarity. Call us to profound trust in your faithful presence you, the God who does not abandon. Amen. On the next clear night, let's do an exercise to see the craftsmanship of God's greatest works. Go outside and look up at the sky. Take in its vastness, its variety of colors. 
the cloud formations, the moon, and the myriad of stars. What do you feel as you stand below this display of God's art? Allow this time to lead your heart to worship the creator of the heavens and of the earth. Ask God to help us to take more time and more opportunities to rejoice in the miracle of creation.